Hello again, my friends, and uh, welcome back to my channel. And once again, I kind of have to apologize. I haven't uploaded anything for like the past week, or maybe even more than a week. I don't know. Um, I've been doing other things. Uh, I know I've received a couple of comments on a few of my videos that I haven't responded to, and I apologize for that. I will get to those, uh, I promise. I just don't know quite when, but I will get to them. I, I definitely will. Um, but the upside of not being very active on YouTube uh, is that I've gotten a lot of reading done. Uh, an unusual amount of reading, actually, for me, because I'm a, I'm a pretty slow reader. Um, and one of the things I've been reading is Nine Princes in Amber by Roger Selassny. And I've been buddy reading this with uh, Reya, Anita and uh, Katie, I think her name is. I don't... I'm not sure she has a booktube channel, but she has an Instagram at least. Uh, so I will leave um, links to platforms where you can find those awesome people down in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, and I wanted to do sort of in a connection to this buddy reads, I wanted to do a video where I show off my collection of stuff by Roger Selassny. It's not a big collection, but I do have some things which I wanted to show you. Um, so first of all, I figured we would start with the Amber series. And this is a 10 book series, uh, originally. I mean, there's been uh, collected editions published later, including um, a collected edition that collects the first five books, which is part of the Fancy Masterworks series. And I would really like to have that edition. I don't have that particular edition, but I do collect the Fancy Masterworks. So uh, I will try and, and track that down at some point, uh, just to have in my collection. Um, but let's start with the books that I do have. Uh, and I actually have these <laughs> in their Swedish translations. Uh, Nowadays, I usually buy books in uh, English. That is my preferred language when it comes to reading. Uh, but these, the Amber books, were actually some of the very earliest books I bought for my collection. It was this and David Eddings and Robert Jordan. Uh, my Swedish Robert Jordan books I've since sold, uh, but I still have my Swedish David Edding, Eddings books and my Swedish... Uh, Roger Selassie books. Um, so yeah, let's check them out. The first one here is of course Nine Princes in Amber, uh, which in uh, Swedish is called Neo Prince i Amber. Um, these covers, I mean, hmm, I don't know. I'm I'm sort of not really a fan of them. Um, they look, I mean, when you have all the books in a row on your bookshelf, they look pretty nice because they're very coherent, uh, but looking at up close at them and sort of really looking at the details of the cover illustration they actually look pretty cheap to be honest um i don't know i don't i generally don't think uh, we the swedish sci-fi and fantasy publishing um uh, environment or whatever you want to call it i don't think we have very good cover artists or cover designers because I think a lot of our covers looks absolutely awful <laughs> uh, and these are not the worst ones I've seen but they are not the best ones either but uh, they are functional at least so this is the first book and I'm uh, almost finished with that probably gonna finish it today I think I'm, I'm aiming for that uh, and then the second one is this which I believe in English is called Guns of Avalon. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, in Swedish it's called Vapen från Avalon. Uh, and once again it has this sort of eh, cover. Uh, it's alright, but it's not great. So, yeah. Third book, which is uh, Sign of the Unicorn, I believe. Um, I actually should have looked up the English titles beforehand, but I didn't. So, you will have to see me trying to remember all of this, but this is, I believe, a uh, sign of the unicorn. And it actually does have a unicorn on the cover, so that's a good thing, I guess. Um, and then we have the fourth book, which is The Hand of Oberon, or in Swedish, Oberon's Hand, which literally means the hand of Oberon. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's once again, 
all right cover, but not that great. And then the fifth one, which is uh, the Courts of Chaos, I think might be the original title. I have to look this up. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. The Course of Chaos. Yes, I was correct. Uh, so these first five books make up what is called the Corwin Cycle, which deals with uh, the main protagonist Corwin, uh, a prince of Amber. And then the next five books is the Merlin Cycle, which, which deals with um, his son Merlin. And the first of these is this one, uh, which the Swedish title is Ödets Trumfer. And I don't actually know what the English title is for this one. It is Trumps of Doom. Which actually should have been able to figure out because it's a literal translation. But anyway, <laughs> Trumps of Doom is this one. Um, and then we have the seventh book in the series. Or the second Merlin book, however you want to see it. Uh, called in Swedish uh, Amber's uh, Blood. Or I would assume... Translating that, The Blood of Amber. Um, I'm guessing. I'm not going to check that out because I'm lazy. And the eighth book in the series is this one, Logos Tekken. The um, pattern of Logos, maybe? S what? Sign of Chaos. Okay, that was not at all <laughs> what the Swedish book is called, but uh, whatever. Uh, Sign of Chaos is the original title for that one. Uh, and then we have the ninth book, which in Swedish is called Skugunas Riddare. Uh, Night of Shadows, maybe? Yes, Night of Shadows. That is a literal translation. And the last book is this one. Magdenas Prince. Which in English is called Prince of Chaos. Which is not a literal translation, but whatever. So those are the 10 Amber books in their Swedish um, editions. The Swedish hardcover editions. There's also um, paperback editions of them. So yes, um, I don't have any other editions of the Amber books. But I do want to track down the Fancy Masterworks edition of them. Because I think that one looks really nice. But speaking of the Masterworks series, I do have a Selassny book from the Masterworks series. This is from the science fiction Masterworks series, and this is Lord of Light. And it is um, the newer uh, printing of the Masterworks series, because I think there's an older one that doesn't have the yellow spine. I haven't read this one, um, but I... Uh, will do at some point, obviously. Maybe I will well, once I've finished with the Amber books, I will pick this one up because I do enjoy Selassny's uh, writing. Um, he's very imaginative, I think. And as I've been discussing with my buddy Reed's buddies uh, in uh, Nine Princes of Amber, it's uh, he he has a very special style when it comes to his prose. It's very to the point, you know. He's sort of it's not that he isn't flowery in his uh, whoops, description of things. It's just that he's just flowery enough. Like, he doesn't overdo it, which I think some authors do. He's very to the point and pacing is... It's quite a fast-paced uh, books, actually. Uh, the ones I've read of him. And I do like that, actually, I think. Um, Keeps, keeps you interested and keeps you wanting to continue reading. Uh, and then we have a little thing here that is called the Illustrated Roger Selassny. And this is actually, I think, one of my favorite items in my collection because it, it's a bit of an oddity, really. It's, it's not quite an art book. It's also not quite a comic book. It's some weird in-between, um, which it contains some of his... Uh, Stories. Let's see if I can actually show this. Yeah, there's a little bit of nakedness here, but I think you can handle it. Um, so this is uh, an illustrated version of one of his short stories, which is called Shadow Jack. Um, and this also contains um, the doors of his face, the lamps of his mouth, uh, the furies and... Uh, a Rose for Ecclesiastes, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Um, so, you know, several stories um, and 
some of them are actually sort of comic style. Like you have speech bubbles and all that. And then there are others that are more more pure text with just images sort of thrown in here and there uh, to enhance the, the reading experience, I'm guessing. Um, and I, I have read this many years ago, uh, but I did enjoy it greatly, I remember. And there's also so-called Amber Tapestries, which are not, they're not part of the Amber stories that are in here, but there are illustrations based on the Amber books. Let me show you something here. And uh, these are not necessarily spoilery, but they probably will make more sense if you haven't read the other books. But here are uh, parts of it. Let's see if I can actually show you. There you go. Parts of it there. And we uh, should have a few more, I think. Yes, here's one. Uh, so here we have actually some of the the princess. This would be, let's see, this would be Julian, I think. And this is... Corwin, I'm guessing, and uh, Cain, possibly, uh, Benedict, Brand, Eric, uh, Random, uh, Bl Blaze, and uh, Gerard. I think those are the ones, anyway, if you want to check that out. And then we also have Corwin and Eric in a duel, fighting each other there. Let's see if there was actually more of these. Yes, here's another one. I don't, oops. I don't know how well you can actually see this because I can't see the screen right now, so I don't know what I'm showing. Um, but I hope, I hope you could see something based on that. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice. Like I said, I think this is actually one of the favorite items in my collection, just because it's uh, it's a, it's a, it's such an unique piece. I think um, definitely unique in my collection. I don't have anything else quite like it, um, and uh, I think it also looks really nice. I'm very picky when it comes to art. Like I know exactly what kind of art I like, and I also know exactly what kind of art I hate, uh, and. The the illustrations in that one are all uh, very nice. I think yeah, I I like them a lot. Then we have another book here, which is My Name Is Legion by Roger Selesny. I don't know anything about this. I hadn't heard of it until I accidentally found it in a thrift store in town. So I was like, hmm, Roger Selesny. That's interesting. I will buy it, and now I have it, and I should read it at some point. Uh, and then the very latest addition to uh, the Selassny collection and also a very late addition to my co overall collection because I bought this just last week uh, and that is Damnation Alley by Roger Selassny uh, and there's a reason that I actually bought this because I'm watching the film with uh, a friend of mine and then we are probably gonna do a podcast of it. Uh, and just for completionist's sake, let's also show off the film, which um, I don't believe Selassny was personally involved in this, but it is connected to his writing, so I wanted to show it off. off. Uh, this one I got in the mail yesterday, I believe, uh, and it is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, so there you go. Uh, this film isn't really known for being that great, um, but I haven't seen it yet, so it remains to be seen what I think of it, but I, it was released in 1977, and it was vastly overshadowed by Star Wars, released in uh, almost the same uh, time as this one, so that's a shame. Um, there is, I know, a Amber TV show in the works. Um, I looked up news uh, about it and there seems to be very little news other than people are still working on it. So I'm very, very hopeful that we will get that TV show because I would love to watch that. I think uh, with a good director, the Amber series could be amazing as a TV show because there's so much just cool visual material that you can get from that. So um, 
I, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and that is all of my <laughs> Roger Selassny collection. It's uh, not huge, but I think it's uh, very nice. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm very happy with it and I have been adding to it uh, for the past uh, past two months or so. I've been uh, buying a few new, new stuff here. So that is really nice. Um, yeah. And that is all for this time. Uh, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you think of uh, Roger Selassie's books? Have you read any of them? Uh, have you not? Do you want to? Whatever you feel like commenting, do so in the comment section down below. And as usual, like and subscribe if you feel like it. And um, I will see you again soon in another video. Bye bye.